Okay, so for another style, I thought I would do this where you have a cutout and you start right about there and you bead all the way around. And then when you get to here, you'll start making hanging chains. And I'll try to do that all the way across. And so, for example, I've got my next one here. And then I will place it beside it. And I'll keep doing that all the way across and I'll show you what it looks like at the end and then it'll just make the skirt dangle a little bit. Um, I don't think I showed you that I found these beads at the dollar store. It's like a whole kit of them. And there's a lot of the size 6 slash 0, which is what we're using on this. Uh, but then there's also some really small ones which you may or may not want to use, you can. I just uh, have a hard time threading a really small needle for the really small beads. But they have slightly different color in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate two of the different colors in the skirt. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how I'm doing this because I tried one way and it didn't really work that well so this is the way I have figured works and I've got four rows done and I basically bring the thread up right beside the previous row and then I've got approximately eight beads on mine Okay, now I can see if that looks like, and actually I must have bigger beads because that looks too long, so I'm going to take one off. Okay, and that's probably about right. So what you have to do to prevent the beads from keep falling down is you have to go like it's coming out the bottom and then you go through the top of the last bead which is in effect tying a knot and of course okay good it worked I thought it wasn't gonna work there for a second okay so there and then don't go back up the bottom bead because you'll just undo the knot you just did so go to the second bead and then go all the way through so that you can bring it back up to the top again and then you want to tie it make it snug or even with your previous row because right now it's hanging down a bit so you want to find the spot that's right beside the other one Go down under and pull it tight and then you can on this end you know make a little knot so it's really tight so it won't move okay and then you've got one more row done Okay, and then you'll just come back up the bottom again, right beside your last row. And then you'll make another row and keep adding these little tassels on the bottom of the skirt. Okay, I've got all the rows on now. And I don't know if you can tell, but I did every other row a slightly different color bead. 
because the kit that I had here had slightly different bead colors, so I just alternated rows. Um, but I did notice that, you know, when you pick it up, and you'll be wearing it. Now this stick, this extra bit of felt sticks out on the edge, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna trim that. make the pattern a little bit different it's straighter and there we go and I think I'm gonna add maybe a little black belt okay let's just add a little row here For a belt. Okay. And I'll probably tack those beads down. Okay, I decided to go with a belt. It's a little bit lighter color. And there you have it. Two different styles. Sorry, one more thing I forgot to mention was if you want something a little bit nicer than just using a safety pin on the back to pin it on, um, you can buy these. Oh, I forgot what they're exactly called, sorry. Um, and this glue, which is really strong glue, and I got this from a place called Bedazzled in Delta. They were $2 a tube. And a pack of 10 of these, I think was three bucks. And all you'll do is just take your glue on the back of that, put it on here somewhere, let it dry, and then you'll have your little backing that goes with it. Um, and obviously you could finish it off even more if you wanted to cut out a piece of fabric, cut a little hole in it and put it over like I did on this little teeny one that I made. I put a little piece of leather over top of it. But there you have it.